Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica in Hanover, Germany. Brought to you by Bravant. Right now we're with Josh Hoffman of John Deere in John Deere's Future Center. And we're looking at a, a tractor with virtually no, st well, actually no steering wheel. Pretty cool, Josh. That's correct. Yeah, so what we have here is the command cab vision from John Deere and the idea is as you move forward in the future it will be more about managing automation and autonomy and less about direct control so you won't need to be steering every moment you'll be worried about how is the job getting done yeah we're looking at some images of this cab right now and, and what's really really interesting is that it feels more and more we always talked about how the tractor cab was more like an air, airliner cockpit yep. It actually feels like it now. It's exactly right. You'll see a lot of inspiration here from the, the glass cockpit that they talk about in aviation, where, again, it's more about monitoring. The pilot is not directly flying the whole time. They're making sure you're getting to your destination on time and safely. Here, let's just start a job and show you how it works. The idea is today in John Deere Operations Center, you can start to plan work and get that out to your machine. In the future, we imagine it being self-aware that the job will just come down to you. And for you to get started, all you have to do is press go. And you'll see with technologies like our auto track and auto track turn automation, it's going to be automatically getting into the headland. And in this case, we're planting. You'll see it as you turn the corner drop the planter and start planting. I feel like I'm playing Farmer, farmer Simulator. <laughs> it's a little bit like that, right? When you think about you're managing from more of the bird's eye view, you can see here we've got row by row detail, but I can also see the other fields out in front of me. I still have details like what I get on Seedstar Monitor today and on Connect Mobile, but I'm keeping tabs on my entire operation. Okay, so a lot of these functions are currently already in the tractor. You're, ju you're basically just reorganizing it to showcase it in a much more visual, pleasing, con consumable manner. One of the big aspects is that this tractor is connected and online all of the time. So right now you're starting to see all that data move off machines to the John Deere Operations Center. Now we're seeing it all come back together into one command center. What about the bandwidth required for all, like, for this data to go? Because like, obviously this thing is data heavy. Absolutely. How do we make sure we have enough bandwidth to make it all happen in some of the remote areas where people are farming across Canada or the U.S.? Still one of the challenges we have to watch, and that's why we look forward to technologies like 5G that allow that data to stream more freely in and out of the cab. But some of the things like sending basic commands, getting plans, are already happening today, even with today's connectivity levels. Okay, big question for you. Can we hook up Netflix and I, this is like an IMAX theater. <laughs> One of the top questions we've been receiving already is, hey, I'm sitting back, I'm comfortable, what am I gonna be doing if this thing's running itself? And you know what? It's all software driven, so who knows? Okay, so how, this is, a, we're in the future area here for John Deere. How, when did, how far are we from this becoming some sort of a reality? It's a great question, and one of the things we're looking at is how do we help bridge towards these further levels of automation and autonomy? Again, many of these tools are already available today so you can start to see pieces of this rolling out now and in the future and as we bring them together based on customer needs we'll be ready with these types of solutions. I steer with the joystick. You can go ahead and since you're in auto mode take it out of auto and do your best. Oh yeah look at that. Go ahead and give it a full turn. Look at us. That is pretty like cool. Like a farming simulator pro. <laughs> can slow down. That is pretty cool. What's been the reaction from people when they see this? And I, don't, I know we're day one here, so it's early days, but what, what, have, what are people saying when they see this? Very intrigued by the, the concept of being less in control, but it's, it's very relatable and more about you being in charge and, and managing your operation. People like seeing this information brought together in one spot. Think about today, you go between multiple different apps. John Deere, you might go to the My Operations app or go to the Operations Center, and they're looking for this information in a lot of individual places. We've brought it together, and they see real value in that. There has to be some productivity increases here too, though. Absolutely, and one of the things that we're really focused on is the AI aspect of this that's improving intelligence. So, for example, you're still in control, so you see that vacuum blower going, yeah. actually, let's get you back in auto. 
and it'll get us back over to the field. Again, you have control of steering, but you also have control of the settings. So you're not locked in here. And so you can see there, go ahead and adjust that vacuum blower, uh, the top one. You can adjust it up or down. And you'll start to see as they start planting again, we immediately detected using our artificial intelligence that your seating rate has dropped. And you see here, we're starting yeah, to get yeah, skips. Yeah. And actually, go ahead and leave it because you know what? The AI is analyzing it. And in the time you would take to look back and check behind you, or in this case, maybe use camera views that we've embedded around the machine and the implement, take a look back over there. It's, it's already it's, fixed it. It's adjusted back. Absolutely. So just, uh, uh, what's, what's really cool is the toggle. Like it, anybody can make those adjustments. Absolutely, yes. It Should you need to, you're still in control, but they let the automation and autonomy do it for you. Hey Josh, this has been great. Congratulations on such a cool concept and uh, looking forward to this being a reality on the farm. Absolutely. Thank you, Sean. Pleasure.